Here we have a very nice looking 2003 BMW 330D Touring in black. It's an automatic as well. If we start with the offside front tyre. Tread wise, you're looking at around 2.5 to 3mm of tread. Looking at the front alloy, uh, it does appear to be in pretty good condition. You have got some minor scuffs to the alloy, you can see you got one there. But uh, other than that, it is in really nice condition. No signs of any curbing at all. Very impressive for its age. Uh, looking down the near side of the vehicle, no signs of any dents or any dings at all. Uh, we've got a, quite a huge, uh, quite a big crease on the uh, front arch here. Just try and get a better angle for you. As you can see here, there is quite a large crease in the uh, offside front bumper. The arch, sorry. But apart from that, there's just a lot of scratches to the bodywork. To be honest, uh, most of them are quite light. A bit of a scuff there on the mirror cap, but just a lot of scratches over the paintwork. So it could do with a, a full mop, to be honest. And most of these would fetch out. Um, you've got some car park chips to the driver's door as well. Plastics appear to be in nice condition. So does the roof, you've got quite a big scratch to the roof. But again, with a good polish, it would fetch most of these scratches out, to be honest. So nothing really too much to worry about. Um, but again, moving towards the back, just a few light scratches. If you look at this uh, offside rear arch, you can see it's had a good scuff here. Took the paint off. And uh, a lot of lacquer and paint's come off this quarter here, so this will need repairing. And you've actually got a small dink as well on this uh, arch here, on the offside rear arch. Look at the offside rear tyre, plenty more tread than the front. You've got a good 4mm, possibly 5mm of tread. Look at the rear wheel. Unfortunately there is quite a bit of kerbing to be honest. Uh, quite hard to catch in the light. Um, but you've got kerbing all around the majority of the wheel. So it could do with a refurb to be honest. But uh, moving around to the rear of the car. Again, no signs of any damage really to the back, no signs of any dents or any dings at all. Yeah, I've got your rear parking sensors. Um, again, a few scratches to the back and around the boot. Quite a few scratches to the boot lid. But again, just needs a good mop. Take a look in the boot. Nice size boot, really nice condition. Also comes with this, uh, this boot tray here. And you've got no spare wheel under there, I think it is on run flats anyway, so. Well, that's the boot. Let's take a look at the near side of the vehicle. Real nice looking car. Let's take a look at that near side rear tyre. And again, you've got around 5mm of tread. Let's take a look at the rear alloy on the near side, you can see quite heavily curbed. So again, going to definitely need a refurb to be honest. And then taking a look at the near side rear arch, we've got a large crease in it there and it's took off the paint below it and it's just about starting to rust, as you can see just here, but it has creased quite a substantial amount. But again apart from that a lot of light scratches, uh, looks like you've got a good head scratch here towards the rear door, again as we move closer to the front just scratches around the paintwork. Take a look at the near side front tyre. Again, not a lot of tread, you've got around 2.5mm. Let's take a look at the front wheel. Again, heavily curbed, definitely going to need a refurb. So the car needs three wheel refurbs. Moving around to the front of the car. Look at the near side front quarter, you can see it's had a good scuff and um, took a bit of the plastic away. That's going to re require some work there. Very minor stone chips dotted around here and there. As you can see, uh, it's going to need a new badge, so that's totally come off. And again, just a few stone chips dotted around the front bumpers. And a bit of a scuff there as well. So it just needs a good mop and uh, requires some touchings in. And obviously, these creases need sorting out. Take a look inside the car though. It does come with this uh, sort of uh, beigey sort of leather interior. 
really nice condition in the back to be honest leather looks uh, immaculate, it is a bit dirty to be honest but with a good refurb I think it would fetch most of the dirt out as you can see condition wise very nice inside, you've got that nice wood trim as well the back of the seats look in good condition and overall just look very nice slight little bubble there in the leather but uh, that's nothing really take a look in the front and it's the same story in the front it does come with sports seats as well as an extra as you can see on the driver's seat, really nice condition slight bit of wear in here and there for the age of the vehicle, very impressed and the same with the front passenger as well overall condition is very nice yeah, if we step inside the car I can show the mileage so it does come with two sets of keys 72,469 miles on the clock so pretty low mileage for its age and no symbols on the dash that you need to be aware of the car uh, starts perfectly fine as well yeah, mud function steering wheel here as you can hear buttons work perfectly fine so that's great, you get this nice wood trim on the steering wheel as well and then looking at the setup here, standard BMW setup, you've got radio, you heard that work CD player, you've also got your heat in here and all the blows work perfectly fine Just put that on full, there's no problems there at all automatic transmission, all the windows work perfectly fine as well so that's great um, so obviously you've got electric seats as well as an extra also comes with Zenin headlights as well, which is great, and extended storage. If take a quick look at the documents now. The car's had one owner from new, and that's very believable. MOT certificate, December the 5th, 2013, so not to the end of this year. And then we do get full franchise service history as well, which just tops off the car really. Uh, feel free to pause this at any time to have a better look. This was all done with us at Ryder at Shrewsbury. Your first one there at 21, second at 43, and then your last stamp at 65 and a half thousand miles. So there we go, that is the 2003 BMW 330D SE Touring Automatic. With a car with age, it's in really nice condition.